All right, flakes flying in Chevlin, Minnesota. I got to tell you, it's uh, looking a lot like December across the valley. It's looking a lot like the holidays and Christmas. Today, our first alert weather day continues. The wind and the snow are continuing, and we're going to turn our attention to some dangerous cold heading our way as well. The latest on the radar and satellite showing we're seeing clearing in central North Dakota, but as we go east, that's where the blue shows the bands of snow moving through Fargo down to the southeastern corner of North Dakota. Heaviest snow showers now moving into the Iron Range and the Arrowhead of Minnesota, but in our neck of the woods, Fargo continues to see some light snow showers drifting through Becker and Otter Tail counties on up towards Bemidji and Park Rapids at this hour. It's showing up as very light here, but with the wind, there's some visibility issues across the area. Now up to the north, this system is starting to dry up a little bit, but there's still likely some snow shower activity taking place in many of these areas up north as the radar beam shoots over the top of those clouds. Visibility is a mile or so in and around Bidette under a mile or three quarters of a mile in Detroit Lakes and a little closer look at a few more stations showing a half a mile visibility for the Wapaton area and Gwinter. So out in open country, you get out towns and this could drop as low as a quarter mile. We've seen it throughout the afternoon hours. Keep that in mind. Give yourself extra time, extra distance, and please pack a survival kit should you become stranded by the roadside. Gusts are over 35 miles per hour and they will remain windy tonight. Here's the zero degree line to the left of it. That's the sub zero air on its way. We have 10 in Fergus Falls, 10 in Wadena, 8 in Grand Forks and one whole degree for you in Thief River Falls. As we look at those wind chills, it's less than pleasant for most of the area between 10 and 30 below zero and the coldest of the air is on the way. Reduced visibility from our South Fargo location. We have flakes and nine on the thermometer. Nine also at Moorheads Airport. Wind is gusting from that chilly northwesterly direction and over 30 miles per hour. Here's our band of snow, our forecast model lining up pretty good. As we set this into motion, it's going to continue to drift off to the east. And by the eight o'clock hour, we talked to you last night about that. That's when we expect the snow to be exiting our easternmost counties. Then we turn our attention to these digits. The sub-zero air moving in from the north and west as we go through the overnight. The wind chills between 15 and 35 below zero as we head through the overnight will be bone chilling. Now the wind speeds, notice the arrows disappear. Those are going to taper off, but because our temperatures are going to be so cold. It doesn't take a lot of wind to cause those morning Saturday morning wind chills to be between 20 below in Fargo and 30 below in Northeast North Dakota. A brutal start to your weekend. So dangerous cold, but less gusty falling flakes on your Saturday, mainly in our northern counties north of I-94 and Highway 10 will drift across the region as the cold air stays in place. Single digits north, teens south. We might make 20 degrees in our South Dakota counties. All in all, though, as we head into the afternoon hours and heading toward the parade hours, we're going to talk about some single digit temperatures in Fargo with wind chills in the single digits below to around 10 below zero. So bundle up. Grab the hot cocoa and get out and enjoy your hometown forecast looks like a cold one out there with those wind chills that will be dangerous. And in fact, a wind chill advisory has been posted for most of our counties into the mid morning hours tomorrow. Fargo's temperatures starting out below zero. We stay only in the teens for the afternoon. We'll have passing clouds. I can't rule out a flurry here in Fargo, but nothing substantial as we head into your evening for the uh, Parade of Lights downtown. We're going to be out there. Mike Mork and I suggest at least a parka for you out there. 14 degrees in Fargo, 19 in the Wapton area as we go through your late afternoon for the parade. Well, it's going to be cold. Those wind chills 5 to 10 below zero. So bundle up and have some hot cocoa. A little warmer on Sunday, but we'll have some breezy conditions. Next week, we have an Arctic air mass that's going to visit. I'm not really going to welcome this thing. It's going to be lows in the teens below zero, highs near zero up north. And look at those wind chills, 20 to 40 degrees below. Dangerous cold taking hold. I'm not taking any chances. I went uh, to a store today and I bought uh, the things that you can put in for your hand warmers, oh, the yes. feet. You can even wrap them around your toes. Put those in the back of your car in your survival kit, too. Very handy. Great idea. Thanks. Coming up next on Valley News Live at 5, new information regarding ovarian cysts and what can be done to deal with them.